righty, uh, we have a eight foot fluorescent light. We're gonna wire for a direct wire LED light. Here in the country I was born in, we use 14 American wire gauge on 15 amps, 12 American wire gauge on 20 amps. Black is live, white is neutral, the bare of the green is the ground. Red and blue are also live colors. However, we may find white live on a switch loop or a 220, 240 volt circuit where the appliance is not require a neutral. So I'll show you how to take out this uh, ballast out of a eight foot fluorescent light and set it up for a direct wire LED light. Okay, so as we start taking that Open our fixture up here. We'll take our end ones off first here. And white coming in to go to the ballast here. We have one white wire here. Comes down to this side here.
Okay, so this socket has uh, the wire is like spot welded onto the uh, inside of the socket. So what we're going to do is we'll take a very small little orange wire nut. We'll strip it off so it's nice and clean here on the end. We'll fold our copper over so our wire nut grabs the inside very nicely. I fold it over so it's even with the insulation here. Stick my little orange cap on here like this. Make sure it's on there nice and snug. And now we can put this back up into our end up here. the little nut that falls out of these and uh, make sure you don't lose them you just drop it in here like this now if this was not a welded on wire you just unscrew the screw and take that one wire off I'll leave that on there in case they could uh, go back to the fluorescent It's nice and snug on here. Now we'll unhook our ballast. This side over here, we'll cut one wire off. So it doesn't seem to want to come off, so we'll try this side. If this side doesn't want to come off, you don't frustrate, you just leave them on there. You don't get upset, you don't carry it on, you just keep trying on this one. If it doesn't come off, it doesn't come off. If it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. It's not meant to be, so we're not going to get upset, we're not going to get frustrated, we're not going to carry on, we'll just put the wires off, put it in, just put up this ballast, and we're not going to try to take it down, because we're, we're not going to get frustrated. So this end we're going to leave on here, so we'll take this wire off, and let's see if it's long enough to reach over. So this ballast can stay in here, it's not a problem leaving it in here. 
because if I can't get the nut off, it's not meant to come out, so you just leave it in. It's not going to cause any damage, it's not going to hurt anything, so you don't frustrate, you just leave it in there. So I'll just straighten this wire out. Now there is a uh, screw up here for our ground wire, so we will take this ground wire off this cover screw here. try to get it on here where this other screw is supposed to be a ground screw. Okay, so we'll see if we get the screw gun up here. So we just took that sheet rock screw, we tried to take it out, but we can't, so we just screwed it back in. So we put our screw up here for our ground wire. My, my camera was paused when I, it was recording when I wanted to pause, but you know what, I'm not going to frustrate, I'm not going to get upset, I'm not going to curse. I'm just going to truck forward and just hope for the best. And if it's not what I want, I'm just going to upload what I have and be thankful. I'm not going to complain. We are not going to complain. Don't complain. Just thank the Heavenly Father for what I got. Amen. Just praise Him and thank Him for a junk video. And just upload it and pretend it's good and not complain about it. All right, so I'm going to put my ground wire around this screw I put up here. This, this will be a better connection because I have a nice big head on it. Okay, so we've got it fastened to the metal the way we want it. And this is our ground wire here. You never frustrate over a junk video. You just upload it and pretend it's good. And you thank God for what you have and don't complain about what you don't have. Okay, so we'll strip our ground wire off here. And uh, make sure we get our copper even at the bottom, get our insulation. And we'll just stick our wire nut on. So if it's paused when I want it recording, I'm recording when I want it paused. I'll just thank the Lord for what I get. I'm not going to get upset. I'm not going to frustrate. If the camera stops, the camera stops. I'll just upload what I have and be thankful for it. And not complain. Okay, now it doesn't matter which one you put on the white, which one you put on the black. So we'll take our wire nut back off our white wire here. We'll strip our end here to the, uh, the same length. Get them lined up. Just cut them to that, make sure they're even here. There we go. Okay, our top is even at the end, our insulation even at the top. We'll strip our wire nut on here. 
make sure it's nice and snug. And we'll hold it up into our put it up into our fixture. We'll take our black wire down here. And we'll take our other wire. This goes to our other end. Stick it here. Okay, we'll make sure our top reason at the end and our insulation reason at the top. Put our wire nut on. And we'll make sure they stay even here. Nice and snug here. Okay, so we'll make sure our red wire goes up here and stays out of the way. And we'll come down here on this end. We'll get our slack rolled up here. We can wind it up like this. We can wrap it around here like this, get it out of our way. And now we can put the cover back on our fixture. Now this ballast can stay inside here. It's not in the way. That nut doesn't come off, it's not meant to be, so I would just leave it in there. And when you fold your wires in the fixture, you want to make sure that they are inside the fixture so they're not pinched with the cover that goes on the light. So we are all done. That's how to uh, make an eight foot fluorescent light ready for a direct wire LED tube piece. Thanks for watching.